Now I'll be covering reproductive health. Briefly, I will run through how to access revision notes and test in uh, Clay 6. Now we'll just click on Clay 6 homepage, click on practice. You will get a lot of packages. In this, you can say I'm selecting need premium because I'm doing need classes we are into. So here you will find a lot of uh, subject wise tests in physics, chemistry, biology, and need uh, full tests. If you click on this, you will see a lot of colored bubbles. Each bubble is a test. Now the green bubble means you have completed the test, but you can always revisit the test and take it any number of times to improve your scores and also for revision. Blue bubble shows that you have not yet taken a test and you are supposed to take it. An yellow bubble like this will indicate that it, the test is incomplete. You would have started the test, but after some time you would have realized after three or four questions, you have not prepared adequately for the test and hence you want to quit the test. At that point of time, you will be leaving the test or if there is any internet connectivity issues, you might quit the test. So once when you log in, this gives you a reminder to complete the test. Now, if you look at the website, you will see a lot of chapters having different numbers of tests. It's no, it is no uniformity. This is depending upon the content that is uh, there in the text that needs to be processed. And also its importance in the neat exams based on that only the number of tests have been created. And here you see a red bubble. This is a randomized test. If you have completed all the other bubbles here, then you can click on the red bubble. Here the questions will be of varying difficulty levels and it will be a mixed bag and everything will start coming from, will be picked up. The questions will be randomly picked up from these uh, tests. And this will help you whether you have understood the answer and whether you have understood the concepts. And uh, it will also help you to analyze to improve your uh, scores. Now, if you look at uh, this tab uh, button, if you click on this, it is a revision notes, it will open into a PDF file. Now, before that, we will look into getting into this. You all are in a framework to know how does uh, neat papers really look like. From our experience, we have seen that there are three kinds of questions. One is straight from NCRT textbook, around 68 to 70 questions in biology are from NCRT. So if you are thoroughly prepared with NCRT text, you will be able to score very high marks. Around 8 to 10 marks are from knee past papers. If you have completed the knee past papers, that will really help you to score all the 10 marks easily. That is for 10 questions easily. And the remaining 8 to 10 questions every year will be a need, uh, newer question in the need paper and it will be a game changer. Though these concepts, the questions will be based based on your NCRT, it was not going to check whether you have memorized the fact, but whether you are able to apply the fact and you are able to apply the concept you have learned to a particular question. Now that is what makes this website a unique one because we have seen to it that we are catering to all the three kinds of questions for you so that you are able to score very high marks in your need. And hence, I would suggest you would add this package for your study material. Now, I hope you have got the framework. Now, let us begin the lesson. Now, this is the reproductive health. Before we get in, these are some of the terms I want you to learn it because they will ask you either to identify the term or give the definition and ask you to identify the term or from the term, they'll ask you to identify the definition. Amniocentesis is a diagnostic technique to detect genetic disorder in the fetus. Sometimes what they will do, they will not have this word diagnostic. They will have technique. So if you think technique to detect, the gen this will be one choice. Diagnostic technique to detect genetic disorder in the fetus will be another choice. So you have to select the one word diagnostic technique. Infertility, it is the inability to produce children in spite of unprotected sexual cohabitation of a couple. Now, mortality means it is the death rate, number of persons removed from a population by way of death at a given time. Sterilization, now you are seeing the mortality rate of uh, COVID-19. Everywhere the country figures are just jumping. But actually, if you look at percentage at the global level, it is only 2%. Now, sterilization, 
a permanent method of birth control through surgery in male or female iucd so these expansions are very important please make a note of it intra uterine contraceptive device rch is reproductive and child health care std is sexually transmitted disease cdri is central drug research institute mmr is maternal mortality rate mtp is medical termination of pregnancy vd is venereal disease venereal disease is also known as std that is sexually transmitted disease rti is reproductive tract infection pid is pelvic inflammatory disease art is assisted reproductive technologies ivf is in vitro fertilization and zift or zift is the zygote intra fallopian transfer so with this background i'm going to start a lesson i hope you have made a note of important things what you had to learn it so word is that reproductive health is a total well being in all aspects of reproduction that is physical emotional behavioral and social reproductive health programs are important in the areas of better awareness about sex related matters increase number of assisted deliveries and better postnatal care leading to mental and infant mortality rates couples with small families better detection and cure of stds and overall increase medical facilities for all sex related problems etc all these aspects indicate improved reproductive health of the society india has first initiated the action plans and programs in 1957 at the national level to attain total reproductive health these programs are called family planning programs currently they are called as reproductive and child health care or rch programs now let me give you some objectives of reproductive health the objectives and requirement of such rch programs are to create awareness among people for reproductive rela reproduction related aspects you know in india it is a taboo a mother will not discuss or a father will not discuss about menstrual cycle or about pregnancy they feel it is a taboo and they have to learn by themselves but that is wrong children have to be getting educated scientifically now provide facilities and support for building a reproductively healthy society introduction of sex education in schools to give right information and educating infertile couples and those in marriageable age group about the following like uh, birth control options care of pregnant women postnatal care of mother and child importance of breastfeeding various assisted reproductive technologies available for infertile couple see when we talk about all these things you might feel is it what are we not educated don't we know but if you still look at it majority of the population in rural india are ignorant and so these rch programs and rch centers are really helping in transmission of knowledge and also helping the rural folk to have a safe delivery and also to bring up the kids uh, bring up uh, kids healthy in a healthy manner now population explosion uncontrolled increase in population leads to high pressure on resources and food therefore birth control is required increased medical facilities and improved technologies have resulted in better living conditions which have explosive impact on the growth of population today if you see the main reason for population explosion are decline in the death rate because the medical facilities have, have uh, enhanced tremendously and you are able to do micro surgery even in the heart even in the brain and so uh, you are you are saving a lot of people on one way as a result of which it is adding more num more number to the population maternal and infant mortality rate has also come down because even to the rural areas government is trying to reach them out to so giving them all the necessary facilities where doctors and nurses are taking care gone are the days where people uh, midwives used to come and see the delivery in the house where it could be of high risk but now it is all done under medical supervision increase in the number of people in the reproductive age because children are all growing healthy and thanks to the initiatives taken by the ngos and the government as a result of which you find lot of uh, young children growing up healthy and get entering into the reproductive age now birth control or contraception the population growth can only be controlled by adopting suitable contraceptive methods 
Now, some other ways include raising the marriageable age to 18 for females and 21 for males. If you have seen your grandmother or great-grandmother, you would have heard they all would have had a child marriage at the age of 9, 10. So, to get away with all these things, government has imposed a, a legislation that a boy should be of 21 years and girl has to attain 18 years before he or she gets married and incentives are given to the couples with small families. Now, we are seeing on one side what are the methods of birth control. Now, let us look at the ways in which uh, we had to look in for the methods of contraception. Natural methods of contraception work on the principles of avoiding chances of mating between the gametes and this can be done by following periodic abstinence, coitus, interruptus and lactational amnoria but none of them are foolproof. So the natural methods is periodically when you know that the ovulation time if you avoid coitus then there is no pregnancy, coitus interruptus and when the mother is feeding a child then they consider that to be safe period but not in all the cases. Now, barrier methods include, uh, for, uh, is based on preventing ovum and sperm coming together. This is done with the help of using condoms, diaphragm, cervical caps, vermicidal creams, intrauterine devices are introduced into the uterus. The IUDs in use are lipids, loop, copper T, copper 7, multi-load 375, LNG20, etc. The copper ions released by the IUDs will suppress the a sperm motility and it will also make the uh, what do you call the environment unsuitable for the sperms. Now surgical method oral contraceptives are hormonal preparations used as the pills like Saheli. Injections and implants are progesterone estrogen combination and their effective period is much longer than the pills. Now the next one would be the surgical methods. Surgical methods include uh, that is you are going to cut the fallopian tube or the vas difference. In females, it is called as the tubectomy and in male, it is called as the vasectomy. So, the tubes are cut and they are ligated. In this way, we are going to obtain, we are able to prevent the uh, pre unwanted pregnancy. Or if the lady wants to see, the couple wants to see that there is a gap between two children before they have a second child, after the first child, either of these methods can be the methods of contraception. And permanently, if they don't want to have children further, surgical method would be the ideal method. Now, let us look into medical termination of pregnancy. That is voluntary or intentional termination of pregnancy. Before full term is called medical termination of pregnancy or MTP or induced abortion. MTP has been legalized by the government of India in 1971 with strict conditions to avoid its misuse, especially in case of illegal female feticide. Uh, MTPs are of, uh, safe if they are done one first trimester, that is within 12 weeks of pregnancy. After that, MTPs become riskier. Now, prevention, we have to see what are the different ways it can be prevented. As you say, sexually transmitted diseases are also very high, especially with uh, people who are of the lower economic strata and who have multiple uh, uh, sexual partners. So, the, which are transmitted through sexual contact, we call them as STDs or venereal diseases or reproductive tract infections. It can be avoided or prevented by avoiding sex with unknown partner or multiple partners using condoms during coitus and seeking medical help in case of doubt and getting it completely cured. Examples would include syphilis, gonorrhea, chlamydiasis, trichomoniasis, AIDS, hepatitis B, genital, herpes, etc. Now let us look at the uh, infertility. Infertility is a problem in which married couples are unable to produce children in spite of unprotected sexual conviction. Therefore, infertility could be many diseases, discongenital diseases, drugs or immunological or even at times it could be psychological. To help such couple, now there are assisted reproductive technologies which help the couple to produce the children. Now let us look into these techniques. One is in vitro fertilization or test tube program is the method in which ova from the wife or a donor female and the sperms from the husband or a donor is allowed to fuse under simulated conditions in the laboratory. 
the zygote at 32 cell stage is transferred into the uterus or fallopian tube for further development and this process is called embryo transfer and this can be done by zygote intrafallopian transfer that is zip in this method zygote or embryo up to eight blastomeres are introduced into the fallopian tube later on the implanted naturally into the uterus and starts growing intrauterine transfer embryos with more than eight blastomeres are transferred into the uterus in this method that means to say their implantation is done directly now gamete intrafallopian transfer is a method of in which an ovum collected from a donor female is introduced into another female who cannot produce ova but can provide suitable conditions for fertilization and further development of the fetus up to parturition so what, what is gift method a female might not be able to produce uh, quality eggs so she might be undergoing uh, miscarriages very frequently then there are donors who can donate the egg so that do donors egg is uh, given into the fallopian tube for fertilization to occur naturally and the lady might have a good uterus and so she will be able to bear a child intracytoplasmic sperm injection it's a method in which the sperm is directly injected into the ovum to form an embryo in the laboratory and then the embryo transfer is carried out so artificial insemination it is a method in which semen is collected from the husband or a healthy donor and artificially introduced into the vagina or into the uterus. This method is used in cases where infertility is due to the inability of the male partner to inseminate the female or due to very low sperm count in the ejaculates. These all techniques require extremely high precision, handling by specialized professionals and expensive instrumentation. Therefore, these facilities are presently available only in a few centers in the country. Now, emotional, religious and social factors are also deterrents in the adoption of these methods. Our laws also permit legal adoption and as it is yet one of the best methods for a couple not having their own children because they are also going to give a life or a family to a, to a child who do not have the parents. So, in that way, adoption can also be one of the best methods. Now let me talk about amniocentesis. I told you it is a diagnostic technique in which a sample of the amniotic fluid from the womb of the pregnant woman is taken during the early stages of fetal development and cells are cultured and analyzed. Actually, this amniocentesis helps in detecting any genetical defects are there in the baby so that within three months, if there are family incidences, then they can scan it and if there are any genetic disorders, they can easily terminate before 12 weeks of pregnancy. That was the reason why amniocentesis was first introduced into the field of gynecology. But later on, what has happened is they have also started uh, looking in for the sex of the child and then they are trying to abort the female uh, child. That is the reason why amniocentesis now it's only to defect the genetic disorder in the fetus is done and even if you are seen in ultrasound scans, even in ultrasound scans, you will be able to identify the sex of the child but it is strictly uh, restricted and strictly the sex of the child will not be revealed by the technician till the date of the delivery because it has been misused by many people who are only behind male children and thus skewing the sex ratio in the society. So these are the important concepts which you have to learn in this chapter. Now let us go to tests. According to World Health Organization, reproductive health means a total well-being in all aspects of reproduction, physical, emotional, behavioral and social. Sorry, let's go to second one. India was among the first countries in the world to initiate action plans 
program at a national level to attain total reproductive health as a social goal through the program called family planning were initiated in uh, 1951 i think family planning started in 19 uh, yeah both are correct it is ntp was legalized in 1971 regarding amniocentesis all are correct except Statutory ban on amniocentesis. A new oral contraceptive for the females, that is Sahil ES. It was developed uh, by scientists at Central Drug Research Institute. In, no. Regarding one and two, both are correct. Our population, which was approximately 350 reached close to the billion mark by 2000 and crossed 1 billion in May 2000. This is due to rapid decline in death rate, maternal mortality rate and infant mortality rate. An ideal contraceptive should be all of the above. In intrauterine devices are inserted by doctors or nurses except in the uh, in the uterus through vagina ideal contraceptives for females who want to delay pregnancy and or space children so if you look at it both are correct choose the odd one out multi-load cut lipis loop and uh, cu cut uh, cu7 that is lipis loop is the odd one out the hormone releasing IUDs. It is both of the above. They make the cervix hostile to the sperms and make the uterus unsuitable for uh, implantation. Regarding oral pills, so it should be all of the above. Because only made up of strong uh, doses of progesterone and estrogen combinations, oral pills are used by the females and it also has small doses of progesterone. All are correct. Sorry. Regarding advantages of oral contraceptive pills, very effective with less side effects. We had uh, left. I think I had to come back again and continue the test. So, the contraceptive pills very effective with lesser side effects and are well accepted by the females. MPPs are performed in a year. MPPs are performed in a year all over the world. This accounts to one fiftieth of the total number of conceived pregnancy in a year. The first one is correct, but second one is incorrect. It is one fifth of the total number of uh, conceived pregnancies government of india legalized mtp in uh, 1981 with some strict conditions to uh, avoid its misuse wrong it is in 1971 such restrictions are meant to check indiscriminate and illegal female feticide so one is incorrect but Medical termination of pregnancy needed for all of the above. All of the following are STDs except hepatitis A. Okay, let me end the test.
So the 15th question, I think it is, oh, gonorrhea, hepatitis A is the correct answer. That is where I have clicked, but it has taken gonorrhea. I do not know. Actually, a hepatitis A is the right answer. So with this, we complete uh, today's class. And if you look back at our uh, uh, packages, you have something on the full length test. There are 38 full tests here, out of which 15 are teacher created tests, wherein we have taken into consideration all the different kinds of questions that are commonly asked in NEET. Based on that, we are created, and 20 or more NEET past papers are there. These are completely solved with uh, solutions. So, this will be a great asset for you for revisions so that you are able to phase or the exam to a tune of uh, out of 90 questions in uh, biology you should be able to do very easily 80 questions very easily and remaining 10 again with all these practice i'm sure you will be able to get very high marks uh, so i would always suggest you to go in for this uh, test series package or for the and for the revision notes thank you any questions